So I'm going to share another movie today in my library, which I added. Uh, it's movie 44. I'm just going to like the movies that I just introduced you guys already. 45 and 46. Let me just like... Yeah, let me hold on to movie 44. So... Movie 44 is called Mona Lisa Smile. To buy the, the movie, please use the link here. This is the link. Uh, this is the cover page of the movie. Let's read the summary of the movie for you. Summary of the movie. Mona Lisa Smile is a 2003 American drama film produced by Re uh, Revolution Studios and Columbia Pictures. It is associated with Red Ohm uh, Films Productions, directed by Mike Newell, written by Lawrence uh, Connor and Mark uh, Rosenthal. And starring Julia Roberts, uh, Kristen Dunst, Julia Stills, and Maggie uh, Gyllenhaal. The title is a reference to the Mona Lisa, the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci, and to the song of the same name, originally performed by Nat King Cole. Uh, which was covered by a seal for the movie. Julia Roberts received a record $25 million for her performance, the highest ever earned by an actress at that time. Plot in 1953, 30-year-old Catherine Ann Watson takes an art history teaching position at Wellesley College. Catherine quickly discovers her students have memorized the entire textbook and syllabus, so she introduces modern art and encourages discussion about what is good art. Catherine becomes challenged to encourage her students to achieve more than marriage. Uh, opinionated uh, Betty Warren is outspoken, conservative, and insists a universal standard exists for uh, what is good art. She writes editorials uh, for the college paper and exposes campus nurse and lesbian Amanda Armstrong for supplying a contraception resulting in her termination. Other Editorials attack uh, Catherine for advocating that women seek carers in addition to marriage. Betty is eager to marry her fiancé Spencer and expects the traditional married uh, student exemptions. However, Catherine insists she will grade her based on marriage and expects her to complete all assignments and tests. Connie Baker begins dating Betty's cousin Charlie but breaks it off after Betty claims he is seeing another girl named Deb. She says Connie is just a casual fling. However, some weeks later, Connie and Charlie reconnect with him, insisting that he had stopped seeing Deb the previous summer. Connie later angrily confronts Betty for being hurtful and lying. John Brentwain considers studying law, so Catherine encourages her to apply to Yale Law School. John is accepted, uh, but declines admission to instead marry Tom Donegal. She tells Catherine that choosing to be a wife and mother does not reduce her intelligence. Catherine says she will eventually regret her decision. Giselle Levy has liberal views about uh, and has had several lovers. She admires Catherine for encouraging students to be independent while earning Betty's enemy. Catherine's California boyfriend, Paul, unexpectedly visits. Catherine declines Paul's marriage proposal and begins seeing Wolsey Italian professor Jill Dunburn. Bill is charming and has many stories about Europe and his heroic actions in Italy during the war. He also has had affairs with students, including uh, Giselle. Catherine insists he stop. Uh, when Catherine later learns Bill spent the entire war at the Army Language Center on Long Island, she breaks up with him. Uh, Bill claims she did not come to Wellesley to help the students uh, find their way, but rather her own path. Betty's marriage falls apart after Spencer is seen with another woman. Betty leaves him, but her unsupportive mother demands she work things out with her husband. Betty visits Giselle in her dorm, at first attacking her for her promiscuity, then breaking down and accepting her sympathy and support. Betty regrets mulling, um Catherine in her editorials. Eventually, Betty files for divorce, and she and Giselle plan to find an apartment in Greenwich Village. When Betty's mother confronts her. Betty uh, cha chastises her and credits Catherine as being the only one who supported her and uh, vows to live with her own life. Although Wesley administrator disapproved of Catherine's progressive teaching methods, but because her cousin 
course is popular, she is invited to return the next year, but under certain conditions, she must follow the school syllabus, submit lesson plans for approval, stop giving students private advice, and maintain a strictly professional relationship with all faculty. Catherine resigns and prepares to explore Europe, but he dedicates her last editorial to Catherine, calling her an extraordinary woman who lives by example and compelling in all to see the world through new eyes as she leaves in the taxi the students follow on her bicycles with betty reaching out to say goodbye and the taxi uh speeds away so we're just gonna like this movie here so enjoy this one also it looks interesting but not really but uh it's just a movie theme okay thank you bye for now